Alright. So, uh, don't know. The so, walls pick up police, but that they're all encrypted now. None of the scanners are picking up police. Yes. Yeah. Somebody already got there? Huh? Somebody got there? No. Something you probably do know? There's a windstorm coming. Something you probably don't know. A basketball hoop tipping over. Pulling a car like a can opener. I'll be interested in this. The receiver and the remote. Left you selling together this for 50? Yeah. Okay. Um. I was short of breath just reading a book. That's I could have delayed telling my doctor, but I didn't wait. They told their doctors and found out they had intracranial Yeah, I know it's heavy. It's dangerous, it heavy. I had one and it had it had for years. I mean, even the old ones were real good, you know, and it, and it went out. And I love the brand Oakdale. Chest um, shortness of breath, yeah. fatigue, what you do? or lightheadedness. This is no time to wait. Contact your doctor. Brought to you by Dr. Myers. And that, would you do 70 for both? Year right now, but if you have joint pain, you can't live like you want to. Okay. Golfing, okay. tennis, that. bike riding, okay. hip, knee, back, it. and shoulder pain. Here's what the fun fact you can basically generate treatment from local medical professionals. Yeah, regenerative yeah. medicine is the hottest thing going. It's basically taking growth factors and right. your own body. I probably, uh, I probably uh, I put my car a little closer since it's so heavy. Okay. I think I'm back there. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Oh, you might be able to sit that on top, probably. Uh, okay. Yeah, right. There you go. I appreciate you. You take it easy. Good luck on yours, yeah. So lately, I haven't been getting big pains, but it's time to be aggressive with this stuff. Now, we're trying to get the Tesla. We can't be selling little five, ten dollar hats. We got to go serious, aggressive mode. All right. So, y'all see the ticker? I spent seventy of my money on that. So. I got a nice little goose egg left where I can't get little things. So let's see what else we can find. I'm in a neighborhood. Speaking of that, I'm in a neighborhood yard sale right now. And I forgot to tell you guys that. So there's a bunch of little yard sales going on. And um, those are the best ones because you can hit a bunch of yard sales fast without having to drive all over the place. So let's see if I can find another one. A lot of them are not going on today because it's Friday. Most of them are going on tomorrow on Saturday. But um, we're going to see what else we can find. Uh, I don't know. Um, it's out looking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. I'm doing all right. Anything I can help you with? I'm oh, just looking around. I appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it. I'm gonna get your okay. underwear, shirts, and boxers. I gotta see how much they are. I think one pack of shirts is v neck, so if you're opposed to v neck, yeah, I think it's these, okay. yeah. <laughs> I just happened to notice that. Let me count and see what I got here. Yeah, I like to get these right here. Okay. I believe it's 15, y'all can count them up again if you want to. We trust you. <laughs> I, believe it's, I believe it's $15. 15 You're willing to pay $15, we are good with All right. Just to get rid of it. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Need to take that. $100. All right. I think you have any change? $5? Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Oh, no. So I always end up at the mistake sale that charges the arm and the leg. So let's see if I can find the deal in here again today. Stand that, don't it? 
bunch of games. Drone Electric. Model 3 or 5. National champion. Avengers Lee. This is 1996. Oh snap! These shirts are shirts. T-shirts are five dollars a piece. <laughs> five dollars a piece, man. Is this worth it though? This gotta be worth it. This one gotta be worth it. So I end up only getting two shirts from the UK shirts. Vintage, all over print. Um Yeah no, it's high as heck in that store. Store. Estate sale, so yeah, and I'm mostly opening with the Kia. My battery's dead, I'm gonna open it. So um yeah. How you doing? Hey. Doing all right? Yeah. That's Whoop good. Above dirt, I'm good. <laughs> That's always good, right? Can you get your shoes here? Yeah. I think $2? Yeah. I oh, appreciate it. No problem. You get your hands full, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you. it. No problem. <laughs> Hey, what's going on with you? Yeah. You doing all right? Yeah. She been up too. Yeah. You live over here? I'm gonna call you right back. Alright. What'd you say? You live over here? Oh, uh, I live, um. That's the way to do it. Good. That's the way to do it. I already bought a shirt. Like 50 cents. Under the put 50 cents. Yeah, you're a boy. No, they good. They good. You know, I got. My oldest go to UK. Okay, yeah. He's I think at, I knew it. Yeah, he's at UK, and then, um. The two little ones, they in middle school and elementary, so. Where'd I go this way? Look at these. Who's actually here? These are yours, Uh. Enjoy. These yours? Yeah. Look at these funny. Let me see. Yep, I got two dollars. Great. <laughs> so you gotta check. It's early. All right, there you thank go. you. No problem. <laughs> thank you. Alright, first day out. Since I got the money from the yard sale, I'm trying to flip this 189 into a Tesla Cybertruck. You understand what I'm saying? So let's go for some of the stuff that we got. First yard sale. Um now. I'm trying to get big things, not big things like that, but like bigger things so I can flip money faster instead of the little things like hats and stuff like that. I'm gonna get that stuff too, but if I see like radio things like this, because I tend to sometimes stay away from stuff like this because it's heavy and it costs a lot to ship and it takes more time to ship and all that stuff. But I decided to take a chance on this because I do good with these. This is the Onkyo uh, model like SR8806, I think it's a seven channel receiver. And, um, uh, I end up getting this and this for $70. You wanted 50 for this, as you can see, and 35 for that, which is 85. So he gave me what, $15 off? Is that what that is? Yeah. So, uh, and it got the remote. And when you have the remote, you can get a little bit more money for it. It was plugged up, it worked. Uh, next yard sale, I don't know, I'm not gonna go in order. But I know this yard sale, I just got these shoes. I had a bunch of things at this yard sale, but like I said, I'm just trying to get things to flip for good money and flip fast. And Nike shocks always do good for me. It's crazy because I found some at another yard sale as well. They look like they're about the same model. Uh, but these are both $2 a piece. And uh, I'll put some comps on the screen because I don't know exactly what these are going for now. But, you know, between $180 and $100 for both of them. Off a $2 price tag. You can't beat that. Got these shirts right here at an estate sale. Now, this estate sale is an estate sale where everything's always hot. And I always got to find the gym. Uh, something that he missed out on and 
Vintage is doing good, fairly good right now. And I ended up paying five dollars a piece. Well, I thought I paid five dollars a piece for them, but when I got up there, I think it ended up being like twelve dollars and eleven cents. And we got six percent tax here. And I didn't say nothing. I think about it till I left. We got six percent tax. These are supposed to be five dollars a piece, so it's ten dollars plus point oh six. That's not twelve eleven, is it? So anyway, I don't think he ended up charging me like six dollars a piece for these. I don't know. Anyway, these shirts should do good. This is a 1996 Kentucky Championship shirt. And uh, this one right here should do very, very good. Let me lay it out because it's not on the hanger. That's uh, so kind of an um, all over print. National Champion 1996 Kentucky shirt. Um, trying to lay it out. There we go. Looks real good. Anyway, so I ended up paying $12 for those. I should get, I don't know, I might try to find some comps on that too. So we'll see. I'll keep you up to date on this. And that's another thing. I'm going to try to keep you up to date on what sells and how much it sells for so we can keep the counter right here and we can get in the green. Right now we're in the red. We started with 189 And as we go, I'm going to tick her off how much of this stuff, um, or how much money I use. All right. This next short set, they had a bunch of underwears and things from the 90s. And decided to take a chance on them because I did good with underwear and things like that in the past. So, anyway, so they had these hang shirts, which was $2. Boxers, a dollar. And these, like, as you can see, 1996 boxers. <laughs> Look at those. Kind of want those for myself, but they size medium. Some more boxers from the 2003. These from the 90s. And now I paid $15 for everything, which is. I think I could have got a cheaper price. I probably could have offered her a 10 and she would have took everything because she just wanted to clear the table. Now, on that table, they have some Earl shirts. Vintage, like, in package shirts and stuff like that. I didn't get those because they wanted, like, 5 to $7 for those. And I still have some here, and I don't do too good with those. I don't know if I got my eyes listed too high or what. But I got maybe 10 Earl shirts in package that I have here in my garage that I own eBay and they haven't sold yet. So I decided to leave those back, which I probably could offer $15 for everything. She probably would've took it. Um, more boxers, more underwear, $10. And I paid $15 for that. So in all, uh, y'all see what I spent today. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and list all this, but disclaimer, you know, I'm gonna try to get videos out pretty quick, but I'm going to Spain for two weeks. So I'm about to list all this, and then I'm going to shut down my eBay store for two weeks, then I'm going to come back. So I probably should have started this when I came back from Spain. That way we can keep the ball moving, but I'm going to be on a little hiatus for about two weeks. But there's some thrift stores in Spain, you know what I'm saying? So I might do a video in Spain picking up some things. Of course, I'm going to be using euros, and I'm going to have to convert it and do all that crazy stuff, but we're going to do it. All right, so hopefully I find some thrift stores, and I'm going to Palm, Palma de Mallorca. So any of y'all that's from Spain, I've been to Palm, Palma de Mallorca. It's a little island right off the mainland. Uh, and know any thrift stores over there? Let me the brother know because your brother is trying to get in there and talk some Spanish to these guys and get these deals. Sure. But all that being said, y'all like, comment, subscribe. I hope y'all liking this series. Uh, this is the second one. And um, we're going to go until the cycle truck comes out. So we don't have no ending. We're just going to see how much money we can flip to put on the cyber truck. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all be good. Peace.